Hello and welcome to some more Train Simulator 2020 content, where today we're going to be taking Chiltern Railway 68010 on a service from London Marylebone to Banbury. Interestingly, you don't get the DVT with this. A bit weird, but there we go, that's however they chose to set up this scenario, so you just get the 68, the Raker Mark 3s, and that's about it really. But if you'd like to help support the channel, uh, you can do by donating to the PayPal link found down below. Any and all funds go immediately back into the channel to help better the content, not only from this, but for other projects I have in the pipeline. Additionally, if you'd like to uh, <clears throat> offer any route recommendations or trains you'd like to see me drive, please do let me know and uh, I shall see what I can do for you. Before we get settled in, I shall open up a can of zesty drink. Perfecto. That'll be my motion lotion for this uh, for this evening's travelling. Well, mind you, this evening for me, whenever you guys end up watching this, it could be morning, afternoon, evening. Could be whenever. Anyway, what's what's this one? Miami West Palm Beach. Um, I suppose I can look into that. I need to do some more American routes, actually. I'll probably do a few more British ones, and I might... Actually, I'll, I'll do a few more British ones, and I'll um, head over to do some European routes. Okay. Do we get... I can't remember, do we get a little what's it on? Yes, here we are. Good evening, driver. Please load passengers now and prepare to depart at 1721. Your first stop will be Beaconsfield. Okay, there goes the Chiltern Railway's uh, mainline service. Who have we got? 166221. Jolly good. Right, so. Doors open. Yes. Uh, I'll do everything in cab, why not? So, what are you? Strip lights? Good. Desk lights? Good. Cab lights? Not too worried about. Headlight dimmer. Up to full. Doesn't help me. Should I just press that? It's got to be easier, hasn't it? Uh, do, 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 do. Yep, that's fine. Wipers? Not too fussed about wipers. Electric train supply. Excellent. ETS is active. Excellent. Right away. Next stop, Beckensfield. That sounds naughty. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that just sounds... Uh, oh, yes. I'm sorry. That's a... Uh, that, that just sounds far too good. So if I go back here, you'll see, I don't actually get a DVT, weirdly. But there we go, that's what they chose to do. So go back up to the front. And we're due in on time.
yeah this just sounds better second longest tunnel in the world. I think we've passed over the West Coast Main Line. Indeed we do. Interesting that the West Coast Main Line doesn't have the Tenere, but there we are. God, hello. That's the next. The next viewing point is on top of the uh, the vents. Excellent. Right, let's let's just do that one. And sit this side. Some London Underground stock. Another Chiltern Railway service. Just chasing the stop. We've got 20 miles to go before our first station stop. Yeah, that's not going to be a bad little uh, shot. Let's see if I can't try and be clever. Back up a bit. Excellent. Right, sit back into Le Cab. It's just a never-ending battle that I'm doing here. Parking brake. Not too fast about a parking brake. Stop. Over speeding. Right, now you can start increasing your speed. Oh, the London Underground is busy today.
Well, that was a bit sudden, wasn't it? Blimey, that's, that, that was all a bit, uh, a bit sharp. Oh yes, and we all know where that is. Oh, hello. Another 68 coming down. Also without a DVT, as it seems. Okay, so we're going to blast through Wembley. People can say that they've done 85 miles an hour past Wembley. I mean, really. Sixteen miles to go. Another Chiltern Railway service. We're going to be heading downhill shortly. that down <clears throat> and just uh, control our speed as best we can. There we go between three and four. That'll, uh, that, that'll do the trick quite nicely, I would have thought. Jolton Railway Service. Eleven miles to go.
still due in nice and early. 10 miles of our journey to go. Hello. Couple of class 20s. Always going to grab my attention. I don't know what else we're going to see train miles in our journey. We may see some more 68s and see what we get as we get close to Banbury, really. Achievement Class 68 Scott Rail. This is a weird looking Scott Rail 68, looks more like Chilton to me, but there we are. What do I know? Not a lot, as it seems. Way too close to the edge of the platform there. That was terrifyingly uncomfortable. Hello, who's this? It's another 166. Okay, we've got under six miles to go now. Wonder, can you get into the Mark 3s on this one? Nope, okay. Never mind. I don't quite know why I went a bit Somerset then. You know, never mind. How you doing? You're alright. That's not a bad little station to film at, to be fair, so it is very, very good. In fact, to be fair, all the stations on the Chilton Main Line are very, very good to film at. My personal favourite is, um, well, two personal favourites are Banbury and King Sutton by a country mile. Leamington Spa is good in its own rights, but uh, it's not, not as good as Banbury. Okay, right. No, no, let's, no, oh for goodness sake, why would you slip to emergency? That, how does that help? You immediately slip into emergency braking. Ugh. Okay. Don't really see why you, okay. Class 68 is, uh having a temper tantrum. Well, whenever you choose to stop,
could be just before this bridge. That could be uh, superb. Hey, what do you know? Right. Is there anything on here that I need to be made aware of? Nothing that I can... Well, that's my fuel consumption, is it? Nice. Okay, right. That's fine. Okay, right. Let's just keep the brakes held. Come on. Okay. Beans. Not bad one. Right. Oh, there we go. Whatever was in front of me has uh, now cleared the way. And I lost a minute <laughs> for my estimated arrival time at Beaconsfield. I will just make up a lie to the passengers and say that... Um, a man playing the trombone walked out in front of me and gave me a tune. It was that to the beat of Jerry Rafferty's Baker Street. There we are. That was, that was done, I wouldn't have been done with a trombone, was it? No, but we can still roll with it. I'm sure you can probably, someone can probably do Baker Street on a trombone. Stranger things have happened. What you want is a trumpet. That's what you really want. You could do on a saxophone as well. A saxophone is probably going to be better. Well, yes, seeing as Baker Street was done with a saxophone. There you go. So, do you want to dismiss that entire conversation you were attempting to have with yourself? Um, I can do. No, no. Okay, fine. Just keep on. There we go. Apply. There we go. Full service. Excellent. No, you're not going to slip into emergency braking. <clears throat> I don't know how it slipped in there in the first place. It, was a, it must have just been a bit too uh, eager with the keys. Did a bit of graduated self lap. You've got to say, the brakes on a 68 are fantastic. Just release them completely at this point. I'm just coasting. I mean, Christ, I've got what? Still got a minute and ten seconds on the clock before I'm actually supposed to be due in anyhow, so. And after all that, I came in near enough, bang on time. How's about that then? Very green. Almost get the impression that the textures haven't quite loaded. I won't say anything, it's fine.
Strange. Looks nothing like the station. Ah, oh, you can be able to get to sneaky. Nope, you're just coming into morph. You two down there, three, four of you down there are fine and dandy. Jolly good. Still like back here. How much room did I have in here? Ah, eh, fine. So if there was the DBT, it would be hanging off the end. I suppose I can actually turn the desk quite soft. Oh. Not that it made much of a difference, but there we are. What does that one give me, though? Hmm. Which give me the... Right, right away. Next stop, High Wickham. Jolly good. Let's uh, pop out of Le Cab. Let us release the brakes. And, um, should we give it the beans? Who doesn't love a 68 giving it the beans? I mean, we're going to gloss over the fact that bizarrely there's no mark, there's no um, DBT in this, but it's fine. Okay, so we've got High Wickham in just over four and a half miles. High Wickham is, a, is another good station to film at. It's an interesting design, but it's not bad. Into the tunnel. By the time we hit 100, we have to start slowing down again. Mind you, we've got the 75 limit coming up, so we'll have to start slowing down regardless. And according to this, we're due in bang on the money. Yeah, I think I might probably get in a fraction late if it reckons I'm going to be in bang on the money, because that's normally how these things work. Just slam the thing in like complete backward reverse thrust. It's not ri oh my god, we've got a really hold on, end of the line. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Hold on, hold on, something's not right, something's really not right here. Is going on. I 
Let's just release that. Let's just creep forward. It could be because I'm chasing another train, but the fact that remains that that HUD clearly indicated that I'm going to be hitting the end of the line. Which explains why I reckon I'm due in bang on the money and it hasn't changed yet. So I could be sat outside High Wickham for a little spell and from the looks of it. The slowdown rate was fantastic. Right, the, the brakes on the 68, can't fault them. And I will just wait. There's literally nothing I can do at this point. I can, all I've got to do is just sit here and uh, oh, look out the window, I suppose. There's no points. Or is it the fact that it's you? Is it you? Because of going in there? No, because it's a terminus. So hold on, are you coming out? Well, no, because you can't cross over here. I'm confused. Hi. Bye. I could always just fly up there and find out what's going on. I could just... Uh, is this the map? Oh, hello. Ah, uh, right, okay. That's why. Hi, welcome to London Marylebone. That explains it. I didn't know there were points up there. Oh, I don't know. Well, at least you know what it is. There we go. Excellent. Come on, you. Well, I did say I was going to be late, and not through my own doing. I'm going to be late through the means of the AI, because it chooses to be evil. There's something against me. Coming in coast for a, a moment. That chap looked like he was about to walk into my train.
which was slightly concerning. And here we are at High Wickham. Oh god. <coughs> I've zo I zoomed in. Let's try another bridge shot. In fact, if I stood here, how does this look? Oh yes, I like that. So let's go, yeah, let's morph into the bridge. Let's do, do get that. Cheeky zoom in. Cheeky, chip, chip, back across. Up and over. Yeah. Nah, I prefer being down here. Anyway, where are we actually calling at anyway? So then we go Princes Risborough, Adenham and Town Parkway, Vista North, and then uh, Banbury. Okay, cool. Plenty of uh, stops on our journey. Adenham and Town Parkway is another fantastic station to film at for catching 68s, pondering through and accelerating from a standing stop, from a when they um, come to pick passengers up is yeah I'm in love bit of a wait here in fact if I go back to the timetable arrived at 1753 departs 1756 good grief a three minute wait and we've got a two minute wait at Princess Risborough Two minute wait at Hannah Montaigne Parkway. Two minute wait at Bister North. That's even even so, two minutes. That's a that's a far old wait of time. Are there any other buttons I can press? Don't fancy pressing other buttons, I might get in trouble. What's this? Um, do you have that one? Nah, keep it off. Right away, next stop, Princess Risborough in eight miles. Okay, so. Hold that down. It's now released. And beans. I just watch them rise. Very windy. Eight to my now and limit coming up, that's fine. May just knock off the acceleration briefly. And then give it the beans again. Beans once more. Once more onto the beans. One small step for man, one giant leap for beans. Many are called and few are chosen. Give it beans. That one didn't really make much sense, but roll with it. Work with me on this one. Pretend like it made sense to you. And don't argue with it. Just roll with it. 
be at one with the beans. Much like that beep was there. That beep is in tune with the beans. There was an army of buses. suspect notch 2 would be sufficient. That's 85. We'll put notch 3 now, shall we? When are we due in? We're due in late by 16 seconds. Jolly good. I think we'll be fine. Screw it. Make up some time by giving it some Wally. Wally? Welly. Give it some Welly. Give it some Welly, you absolute Wally. Yeah, I made it work. I saved myself from that one. What you did is fall into a pit of your own stupidity and then climb back out of it again somehow. I know, I'm just that good. How do you do these things? What, create your own stupidity? Yeah. Well, it's quite easy, really. You just be me. It just comes naturally. You don't even have to think about it. You literally, you can just do stupid, and it's fine. No one even questions it. People just go, cool, carry on. Normally people say, are you really that stupid? And I just look at them and go, it's me. And they go, ah, you're one of the chosen few. Carry on. I can get away with stupid. It's just a thing. If someone else tried what I do, oh, they'd be in prison. They'd be locked up somewhere for like their own safety and the general public safety. But for me, nah, it's cool. Just roll with it. It's fine. Is he allowed to do that? Honestly, it's best you don't answer or even question that. Because really, you're just you're not going to get anywhere. All right, fair enough. Does he often talk to himself? Eh, yeah, most of the time. Is it actually a riveting conversation? Well, it can be. Depends what you want to talk about. Does it often have a subject? Nah, normally he just goes off on one. Incoherent rubbish. Apparently people enjoy what he does. Really? Yeah. People actually enjoy it when he just goes off on one. Well, apparently they do. Apparently they, they find it humorous. Do they? Apparently. Don't ask me. It's just what they say. Oh, well. He must know what he's doing. Well... You'd like to think that he knows what he's doing. What, does he just wing it half the time? Well, that's basically his whole philosophy on things. Sort of just go with it and see what happens. So you're telling me he has literally no plan for anything. He literally just rocks up and does stuff. Yep, that's pretty much him down to a T. Uh, fair enough. How long can you keep this particular gag going? To be honest with you, I'm running out of ideas. Should we just stop that one there? I think we shall. Okay, right. So, 1.6 miles to go. 80 mile an hour limit coming up. We're doing one of them up speed. Coming into Princess Risborough in just over a mile's time. Princess Risborough, again. Another amazing station. But without any shadow of doubt. To be honest with you, I, I like all the stations I filmed up when I was on the Children's Main Mainline. I loved them. Gerard's Cross. That was the station that we went through under that tunnel as, as we were leaving London. That's the kitty. Gerard's Cross. I filmed there when I think it was there was a serious frost and a bit of snowfall coming down and my god it was cold mind you if you get a serious frost and a bit of snow it usually implies that it's cold but that was bitter now I wonder if the designers of this incorporated the um, Shinner and Princess Risborough Railway It'd be nice if you sort of just had like a little heritage diesel just parked up. Not moving, just parked up. That'd, that'd be pretty nice. 
because obviously the trains that uh, come here also terminate from Aylesbury. I will be doing that as well in the 121 bubble car. I will be doing the Aylesbury to Princess Risborough run. Okay, so that's uh, Princess Risborough ticked off the list of places that we've now arrived at. It's a cracking station. This. I, I, I've only ever filmed here once. I must come back here. Hello, floating sign. Nine car stop. Not uncommon. Sixty-eight zero ten. For those of you who don't know, is by far and away my favourite class sixty-eight. Primarily because it was my stalker. Legitimately, every time I went onto the Johnson Main Line, sixty-eight zero ten would inevitably turn up. No matter what station I was filming at, it would just be there. So 68010 became my, my favourite 68. I've even got a model of 68010. And it's a bloody good model as well. I just wish that, uh, I don't know, Hornby or Oxford Rail or somebody did Chilton Railway stock. So the Mark III, the DVTs. Hello. Another Chilton Railway service coming down, giving it what for? Okay, right away, next stop, Haddon and Maintain Parkway in 5.82 miles. So, release the brakes. Get into a comfortable position. Interesting. Well, seeing as the train's now moving on its own accord, we'll just give it some beans. We'll encourage on its lofty quest. Okay, 4.6 miles to go, we're doing 80 miles an hour. All is well in the world. Surprise, we've only ever passed one other 68, sir. Quite surprised we haven't found another. We could very well do, we'll just wait and see. Three and a bit miles to go.
Let's see if I can actually make it in on time this time round. Right, let's start breaking from here. Fancy my chances. Ooh, just use platform. I think we should be okay like this. Mind, mind you in saying that. Uh, might have to go a little bit more heavy handed with the braking. Go full service. Okay, let's also encourage it with a bit of uh, reverse thrust. Mind you, if the loco goes in front, it's not too concerning. Excellent. How are we doing back here? Oh, loads of room. You just... How did you do that? Madness. My bad man. Fair old world to wait. I could just see her all day and just into this 60 on tick over. Quite happily. I do love delivery, it's so bland, but it's really, really nice. A little bit of movement in the bushes. Is how much fuel we've used so far? Right away, next stop, Vista North in 12 miles. Okay. That released. And. Give it a booful.
Ventilation is not bad. I think the last time I saw a 68 was when I was swimming at Tamworth. It was a DRS 68 running light from Wembley to Crew Bristol Bridge. Blue expanse in front of us. Unlike the weather that uh, is coming outside my window today. Today it's uh, damp. For want of a better word. Wretched also works. Quite a sharp curve away to the side there. Okay, let's just knock it down to the four. I think four should be okay. Eight miles to go. Two to five. No, nope. it's six. Through the armada of bridges and then into a tunnel. Six six masquerading as a one six eight. Now we'll just drop it back down to four again just to make sure the train behaves itself. Point it being naughty. Sounds, it, this sounds naughty, it's a naughty sound train. Okay, we've got 4.8 miles to go. We are due in near on time. Let's see how that one pans out.
99.5 miles an hour, that will suit me perfectly fine. We've got 2.7 miles to go. All is well. Okay. I'll shut off momentarily. About once we cross over the junction. There we go. And that is the line that takes trains to uh, Oxford. Via Vista Village. No, didn't want to do that. Well, what I've done there is overshoot. Well. Let's see how bad I overshot. Actually, considering it's only the loco that's gone over, I think that's not bad. I'll take that. So, where do I normally park when I come here? Because I have gone in there a couple of times. Last time I parked, mind you, this looks nothing like this, the car park nowadays, but last time I parked, it was around here. The 68s just look amazing. There's no guessing around it. They are beautiful engines. They really are. Seems like an eternity that we're just sat here. Good lord. Okay, right away, final stop, Banbury in 14.11 miles. Come on. There we go. And what we're going to do, we're going to look at the screen. <laughs> 
power. Okay. We are sitting center off. Acceleration is still quite good. And we're due in going to this bang on time. We shall see. Indeed. I'm glad you think so. With your little chimes. At least the weather's nice for this scenario. Just keep an eye on the speed. Up to five, there we go. We've got ten and a half miles to go of relatively easy running. Out of four, get you to convince yourself to uh, try and behave. I wonder if there's anything in here that would, that would tell the driver what the max speed is of this loco. Do I put my head on a swivel? You're a red light. You you mean nothing to me. And we would be heading downhill, so I suspect the speed is decreasing. Not what I thought. I must have thought we were going to increase our speed, seeing as that's usually what happens when you're going down a hill. Well... 
bing. What I will do. Let's do a bit of reverse thrust and see if we can slow down sufficiently. I think we will. Bring it down to 85. Oh god, yeah, comfortably. Stick it at one. One should be okay for the moment. Yeah, I think one will be fine. The 166 up there. We're passing over now where the cross country services and all the freight would head down to Oxford. A bunch of cows. Stick it to notch two, get that speed going back up again. Not a million miles away from going through King Sutton. The uh, beautiful little station of King Sutton there. The actual village itself is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous little village to pass through. So we're not a million miles away then from Banbury. miles away. I don't know why I said that like I was about to burst out into some sort of theatrical song. So if I just leave it at idle, I'll pass this 85 limit and then I'll um I'll have a conflab with the brakes. In fact, I'll actually I'll start having a conflab with the brakes now. We should be doing 15 mile an hour in enough time. Mind you, we've got half a mile to go, so I can probably just uh, release the brakes a little bit more. Wasn't thinking of fully releasing them, but yeah, that's fine. I'm 
Okay, that should slow us down sufficiently. Just coast our way in. So there's a first grade Western service there. That'll be heading off to Oxford. Old semaphore signalling. Well, I'll be. I can't remember if I actually filmed at Banbury when the semaphore signals were still in place. I don't think I did. I think I started filming at Banbury when the um, the LEDs were in place. Of course, that no longer exists. That's now been filled in with gravel. Excellent. So, here we are at, uh, at Banbury, our final calling point. Yeah, I think I've got I've got enough screenshots now. I think I think we're we're dandy. I think we're good. Oh, there she goes. One six six two eleven. Well done, driver. You did a good job this evening. Cheers. That was good fun, actually. How many times was I speeding? Four times. Well, I guess I wasn't actually too bad. Okay, so. Uh, my phone's trying to interfere with me. Right, what we're going to do next is uh, we are going going to do, I'm not going to do anything from there, we've done East Coast Main Line to death lately, so what we're going to do, we're going to go, um, yeah, we're going to go from uh, London, Liverpool Street to Ipswich, with 82112 and 90010. So that's what we're going to be doing next. So, thank you all very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. If you have a job to see today, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. I do go back to them as and when I get the opportunity to. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.